All right, what's going on, everybody? So I just want to talk a little bit about this whole Trump versus Harris thing. We're leading up to the election, and just everybody is trying to figure out if you're on the fence, if you're trying to uh, know who to vote for. And again, this is from the perspective of audience one and audience two. You believe there's an election. You believe that everybody has to come out, and we have to kind of figure out based on your moral perspective, your background, and just how you think the country is going, where you want this to go, all that stuff. People are making their uh, decision, and it's so much more than uh, from four years ago or even eight years ago that those that have picked a candidate, they are rooted based on what they truly believe. It's not the bandwagon effect. It's not somebody told you to vote. And there are still some immature people because they vote down party lines or they vote because of race, uh, commonality. They're anchored off one or two things and they don't have a backbone, an ethical, moral backbone to make a clear decision, nor are they able to research to understand clearly what's going on, or they are focusing their voting parameters or their decision points on something that's not as important as something else. For example, someone's past or their character based on what they saw and all that stuff, as opposed to how the future, the, the value that they add their policies and what they actually stand for as being more of the crux and the backbone. So you're seeing people all over doing this juxtaposition there, there's little battles playing out right people are heightening the fact that kamala is doing one thing you know you got uh, jesus is lord and you're at the wrong rally and then you got mcdonald's and these different things with trump and just air, all these little things are happening rallies little photo ops little things to kind of wake up and shake those that are sleeping and the final sort of bit and yes you're going to have people on either side they're very you know, fixated on their beliefs. And yes, there's many that will still be lost forever. But what you're seeing more and more is a great awakening, as we've talked about, for which a lot of us are getting to uh, the basics, the uh, biblical understanding, moral values, and then they're making decisions based on what God is showing them. And they're looking past things that don't really matter, right? So if you voted for, if Jesus himself back 2,000 years ago was running for president, you you based your vote based on what the Sadducees and Pharisees said and these rumors, right, that he's a bad person, he's not the, the Messiah and all this stuff, then you have your anchor, your perspective incorrectly rooted in something that is not true. And so this is what's happening now. People are waking up to the idea that there's a narrative seeding, there is the mainstream media, there are people that want to destroy, make lies and all this stuff. And people are waking up to this and then making their choice and, and more importantly, understanding what is the biblical value of how to live life and how to make certain decisions based on your livelihood, your children, your future, and all this stuff. And so this is great news for from a great awakening perspective. So I expect that more and more of these little micro battles, these rallies and little bickering, these little things, these little battles, it's going to be heightened. People are going to see it. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that about Harris. I didn't know that about this and that. I didn't know that Trump was actually standing for this stuff and all that. And so you're going to see more and more people wake up. And this is a good thing from the perspective of what God is trying to do. And so people are waking up. It's a good time. Love you guys. Be encouraged. More is to come. And again, if you haven't been following, we, we've, a lot of us have been talking about that there is something else going on, this continuity of government. We're going to see big things come. 45-47 is what Trump has been saying. He can't outright say it out loud. But again, there is a whole operation, a military operation going on, and it's, it far exceeds what is being shown at uh, face value. And so love you guys. Be encouraged. Talk to you guys very soon.